Neek Smith asked me a few days ago, uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to get rid of the need to calculate total hours worked. Could I create a formula that would total up the hours from the clock in and clock out times? Unfortunately, this is not necessarily intuitive, but it is not very difficult to do. Uh, you just kind of have to know the procedure and you have to know a little bit about the way that uh, Google Sheets represents dates. So if we go over to this sheet where I have a few times, let's just look at this and think about it for a second. So we have a couple of times, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., 11 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., and 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. So if we think about this, this is about one hour, this is about 4.5 hours, and this is one hour. So if we sum these together, we will get 6.5. That is not exactly what we want to do because we have to go and enter the hours for every single one of these entries and that's not super great. Now fortunately what we can do is we can sum all of these values on the left and sum all of the values on the right, subtract the sum of the values on the right from the sum of the values on the left and what we'll end up with then is the difference, the total difference between the two times which will give us the number of hours worked. But the problem is we have to think about how Google Sheets represents dates. So let me go ahead and create a header here. Clock in, clock out, total hours. Now if I identify these as numbers instead of dates, so I'm going to go ahead and enter A2 here as a value and you can see it's going to come back as the same kind, same kind of formatting. If I change that format to just a plain old number, you'll see what we get here is this big cryptic looking number and if I throw a few extra decimal points in you'll see I get 42,971.375. Uh, that actually is a number of days is what we're getting there and that's not at all intuitive but knowing that this is the number of days you know that's what this number is representing I can kind of look at what the difference is between this value a1 and this value b or I'm sorry a2 and this value b2 so if I look at b2 here and change that to a number as well what I get now is we'll take a look at some more decimal points there 42,971.416667 so if I subtract e2 from d2 I'll get this number and that's not exactly super useful what that means right here uh, 0.041667 but I can actually make some meaning of that so if I know that this is the uh, measure of number of days then all I have to do to get the number of hours that represents is multiply that by 24 and you'll see here that's remarkably close to 1 so we can kinda consider that 1 now instead of doing all of this work I could actually just create one uh, set of values for this I could say uh, we'll just go ahead and create a value total hours in and we will set this equal to the sum of all of the values in column A. And we'll set and we'll create another one here, total hours out, and we'll create this equal to the sum of everything in the B column. Now we'll say total hours is equal to I4 minus IH or I'm sorry, H4, which will give us 0 0.2708333, which is not exactly what we wanted. So what we have to do is then multiply this value by 24. So that should give us 6.5. So using that, uh, that uh, approach of adding all of the values here with all of the values here, and then d multiplying the, or subtracting b the clock out times from the clock in times, and summing that you should see here uh, the 6.5 which if we add that up that's exactly what we got in the first place so to create this nice and neatly if I wipe all of this out I could actually create a hours column here and I could just say this minus this times 24 will give me my, the total hours worked and I can paste that to each one of these and then somewhere else I can have a total hours worked and we'll go ahead and we'll make this column a little bit bigger so it looks nice and we will just sum column C here and there we go 6.5 so it's exactly what we hoped for thanks for watching and I hope that this gives you a little bit of insight into how you can kind of manipulate your dates and total your hours more easily